A light microscope uses both an eyepiece lens and an objective lens to magnify an image of a sample. Each lens has its own magnifying power and can magnify the image a certain number of times. For example, the eyepiece lens usually has a magnifying power of 10 times and the objective lenses range in magnifying power from 4 times to 60 times usually. The combined magnification of the lenses is the total magnification and there are two ways that you can calculate this. The first equation requires the magnifying power of both the eyepiece and objective lenses. When these two values are multiplied together, you get the total magnification. Take this question for example. A student uses an eyepiece lens with a power of 10 times and selects an objective lens with a power of 60 times to view a sample of human cheek cells. What is the total magnification of the image that she will see down the microscope? So we multiply the power of the eyepiece lens, which is 10, by the power of the objective lens, which is 60. 10 times 60 is 600, therefore the total magnification is 600 times, or 600x. The second equation is often referred to as the I am triangle. If you're not given the powers of the lenses used, you can calculate the total magnification if you know the actual size of the specimen and the size of the image. Looking at the triangle, the I stands for the image size. This is the size of the image on your question paper. You often have to measure this yourself, so make sure you have a ruler that measures millimetres with you in your exam. The units of the image size will most likely be millimetres or centimetres. A stands for the actual size of the specimen. It's sometimes referred to as the real size of the specimen. This is always a smaller value than the image size, and the units for A will most likely be given in micrometres or millimetres. Finally, M stands for total magnification. This is given as a number followed by an X. So most of you should be familiar with how to use these triangles, but I'll just whiz through the three equations, if you like, that are hidden within this triangle. So actual size equals image size divided by total magnification. Image size equals actual size times total magnification. And total magnification equals image size divided by actual size. Something that's very important to make sure of is that the units for the image size and the actual size are the same before you put the values into the equation. So you might need to convert these. Let's look at an example of how to use this equation. The plant cell was viewed down a light microscope. The actual size of the plant cell is 80 micrometres, but that's all the information that we've been given in the text. We know that to work out the total magnification, we also need the image size. So we'll need to measure this ourselves. So using our ruler we can measure the size of the image and we can see that it's 40 millimetres in length. The next step is to make sure that the units of the actual size and the image size are the same. And we can see that one is in micrometres and one is in millimetres at the moment. So we need to convert one of them. I like to work in micrometres here. So let's change the image size into micrometres. To do this we times by 1000 because there are 1000 micrometers in one millimeter. This gives us 40,000 micrometers. Then we can take the I am triangle and plug the numbers in. So we take the image size of 40,000 micrometers and divide it by the actual size of the specimen, 80 micrometers. This equals the total magnification which is 500 times. If you're given a question that asks you to work out the actual size of a specimen and all you're given in the question is the total magnification along with the image, you'll need to measure the image to get the image size and then rearrange the IM equation so that actual size equals image size divided by total magnification and then plug your numbers in. If you would like some free GCSE revision notes that accompany this series of videos, please head over to my website www.drmeclever.com. You'll also find my revision guides here. And if you want to say hello and get updates on my latest work, scrollable revision notes and freebies, you can follow me on Instagram or other social media under the handle at drmeclever. And finally, if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share. Thank you.